a beautiful oasis. The greatest names in sculpture are represented here. Decorated with massive works of art. This piece, La Riviere, you know where else you can find that? Castings like this? The Museum of Modern Art in New York and the Tuileries in Paris. And that's nice company to be in. All of which can be described to you by some familiar voices via an app. Standing 12 feet tall and painted bright red, ring figure is much larger than life. That's just one of the features of St. Louis's own city garden. Which spans the two blocks from 8th Street to 10th Street and from Market to Chestnut. In July 2019, the garden turns 10 years young and three new sculptures have been installed to help celebrate. The first will have you looking up to the sky. But there's a piece on the roof called Love Versus Money, which shows an imaginary figure. And he's holding a heart-shaped balloon in one hand that's kind of pulling him up. At the same time, he's being held down by a very heavy bag of money. So he is torn between those two possibilities. The next one isn't just closer to the ground, it's right on it. Unzip the earth. It's a very funny piece. It's basically a zipper line that's laid into the ground. And it looks like if you pulled it open, you know, you'd find yourself in China, I guess. And finally, this piece, Moonrise East May. And it's this sort of smiley figure. It's a very benign and, and happy looking figure. It's temporary and Unzip the Earth is temporary. Love versus money is, is permanent. The city garden opened to the public on July 1st, 2009. In 2006, the mayor then was Francis Slay, came to the Gateway Foundation and they asked the Gateway Foundation to fund a, a mall plan and they asked if the Gateway Foundation would take responsibility for these two blocks. So Gateway said we would. The Gateway Foundation is a nonprofit whose mission is to enrich life and culture with art and design. No expense was spared on the plantings. The Gateway Foundation wanted a garden that looked mature right from the start. They planted, in some cases, 30-year-old trees, which of course are, are much more expensive, much more difficult to ship. And although this garden cost the Gateway Foundation close to $30 million, to visit, the price for you? Well, it actually costs absolutely zero. There is no charge. There are no gates. There are no fences. So sit on, climb in, or at least climb on. This art is a gift for you, even if you're not the one having the birthday. So it has water, stone, plantings, art, architecture, and food. How can it miss? It's got everything.